In the last video, we installed this NAS at the radio station. My dad installed four 4 terabyte Seagate IronWolf hard drives since that's what I had on hand. What I didn't know at the time was that Seagate was actually sending four of these, their 16 terabyte IronWolf Pro drives. So today, we're going to live upgrade this NAS from 16 to 64 terabytes of raw storage, and while that's going on, I'm also going to measure how much faster these new IronWolf Pro drives are. I want to see whether it makes sense for small businesses like the radio station to pay extra for these IronWolf Pro drives, or if they should save some money with the regular IronWolf. In either case, the radio station's getting the storage upgrade of a lifetime, since they're going from an original 2 terabytes of network storage to 32. That's 16 times more storage. Thanks to Seagate for sending these drives, and Asus Store for the rack mount NAS. Links to all the products in this video are in the description. First things first, I'm going to have my dad kick off the NAS upgrade. Asus Store says you can just do it live using a process called online RAID migration, so we'll test that out. One important note, you can only expand capacity, you can't shrink your storage, and you can only do it with RAID 5, 6, or 10, at least on a modern Asus Store. I'm going to have my dad log into ADM and kick off the process. Storage manager, it looks like the best choice to me. Management, RAID. Uh -huh. You're doing good. Oh, well, by default, it already knew what we wanted to do. Look at that. Uh, There's even a little boom. graphic. That's so nice of them. That's very con confirming. Right. I feel affirmed. All right, so four drives, only one blinking. It's in the right position, what we saw the other one. I'm going to pop it out. So we're going to take four gig guy and put in 16. 16. Terabytes. Terabytes. Did I say gig? That's my age again, Jeff. <laughs> Started out with kilobytes to megabytes. I mean, a five meg drive was awesome. Was your one first time. Com personal computer what had 512k? Uh, you, well, the yeah, that's probably right. Floppies only. 512k, yeah. And some commenters about those uh, drives that clip in and snap in. I've had the pleasure of those at times, but not this time. So here we go. Put this in, and hopefully the uh, light starts dancing, and it does something really fast. <clears throat> See what happens, and then we can go look at the software. Oh, five four, hours! Five hours. We're well, <laughs> gonna see it uh, at 197 megabytes per second. While the drive's resyncing, I'm gonna take this four terabyte drive we just pulled and run some benchmarks. Looking at the spec sheets for the two drives, the 16 terabyte is obviously larger, but Seagate makes a four terabyte IronWolf Pro drive too. For performance, there are a few main differences. The Pro spins at 7200 RPM, has double the built-in cache, and has a rated transfer speed of 250 megabytes per second, compared to the 180 megabytes per second on the 4. The drive is also rated to last longer, and work in harsher conditions too. The Pro line supports up to 24 drive bays per unit, versus 8 for the normal Iron Wolf, and it's rated for 1.2 million hours of service with a 5-year warranty, versus 1 million and a 3-year warranty for the non-Pro drives. I don't have time yet to give you solid numbers on the MTBF or the warranty, but I can at least test the raw drive performance since I have a powered SATA adapter here. So on my laptop I have this uh, powered SATA adapter, so I'm going to do some uh, disk speed tests on each of these drives and we'll see which one, uh, which one is faster. It should be the 16 terabyte, but you never know until you test. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and erase the drive so my Mac can see it. So that's pretty much, that's actually a, above the spec for this drive, so that's pretty good. And that's about the speed that we're seeing the file copy do on the server right now. around 190 megabytes per second for sequential read and sequential write. All right, and now let's test out the 16 terabyte. So we'll initialize this one, and we'll do it on the Iron Wolf. And look at that, 260, 270 megabytes per second. So this looks like uh, this disk is a little bit faster for sure. So we just tested the sequential read and write, which is helpful to know. And in this situation at the radio station, they're going to be copying large audio files and things like that. So that's, that's a useful metric. If you want to really get the full perspective on these drives, you need to run something like FIO or IOZone or something and also check the 4K and 512K and 1 meg and all these different uh, sequential and random access metrics. I'm not going to do that for these. You can find those on many other websites. 
Uh, but it is good to see that you're getting what you pay for and the specs are actually pretty close and both of the drives gave us a little bit more performance than the spec, which is nice. Um, and, you know, th that is nice because this one will be a little bit faster as they upgrade their network here. Right now it's mostly gigabit, but if they get 2.5 gigabit, we can get faster writes on these drives as well. Tell me what, uh, what our plan is now after seeing that it was going to take 20 hours to complete. Yes, uh, the plan now is to just uh, take the drives out, reformat, except leave the one in, and uh, do the BZQFZD. BTRFS. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I said, actually, if you were listening. Yeah. Uh, the BTRFS Q. No, what is it? Uh, BTFS. BTRFS. BTRFS. We're choosing BTRFS. Uh, it, the final thing that convinced me was seeing uh, Wendell's video on Level 1 Techs a few days ago about uh, some of the important things about preventing bit rot and things with ZFS and BTRFS. So um, I think good for the long term at the radio station will be to use BTRFS instead of RAID 10, uh, but we might still have two drive redundancy on the array. Um, but Hopefully it'll still perform well. I, I don't think it'll be a bottleneck on the gigabit network for sure. Take a drive, slide the drive out. Slide the drive in. Line up the holes. Okay. Power up. There's that noise, baby. <clears throat> so we waffled a little bit and we're gonna stick with RAID 10 on EXT4 for now, just because I've seen some forum posts and things from other users of Asus Store who've had some issues with BTRF BTRFS in the past. I know RAID 10 is gonna work. Um, it doesn't have some of the nicer protections and snapshots that BTRFS does. But anyway, we're gonna stick with that for now and someday in the future, it'd be really cool if, uh, if Asus Store supported ZFS at some point. Um, but we're just going to stick with RAID 10 for now. And we're going to reinitialize it and then restore the settings and we'll have it back online. So right now I'm copying and my dad is copying in the other room. And it looks like the NAS is giving us 120 megabytes per second pretty continuous. And my computer's getting about 65 megabytes per second. So what are you getting right now? I am getting 79, 80. Okay, so it looks like between the two of us, we're maxing out the uh, the bandwidth on it. Uh, so we're going to copy, we're going to do a test where I'm copying plugged directly into the back of the unit at 2.5 gigabits. And my dad is over on the other computer and he's going to copy from a 1 gigabit connection and see how this thing handles it. So here we go, I'm going to drop this and we should see my network connection going up. Yeah, wait, that's going pretty fast. Uh, that's going at 282 megabytes per second. So, Dad, you want to copy yours? All right, here we go. Started mine. I'm getting 116, 112. I'm still at 280, 278. And it looks like on the network, on the device, it's seeing 285 megabytes per second. So my copy slowed down a bit to like 100, 120 megabytes per second. So I just enabled Samba multi-channel, and we're going to do the same test and see if there's any big difference. So my copy just started. Mm -hmm. What's and speed we're getting 180, 275, 280 okay, megabytes I'll start per second. Mine. And here goes, Dad is dropping Started his folder there. And I saw that it dropped down for a brief moment, but I'm mine back is up to right there at 160, 213, 256, 100, yep. 112, almost right 260. on the money the whole time. Yep. All right, so you're getting 112 megabytes the whole time, pretty much. The whole time, yep. That's pretty fast. At this point, we have 20, 29 terabytes free. How does that feel for you? <laughs> it feels pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we got everything working with the new RAID setup, and running that SMB multi-channel test shows that we get more than 2.5 gigs of total bandwidth with two ports. But right now the Asus Store is connected to the rest of the network at one gigabit, and most of the PCs here use slow desktop hard drives, so even one gigabit is plenty for the stuff they'll do here, for now at least. Maybe in a future video we'll slap in some SSDs. But in the end, the upgrade worked. And we have massive speed and massive space and a better future for every user. Yes.